Welcome everybody, Red Arrow 23 here, time for another playbook episode. Um, today we're going to be doing the right shields on strategize. So E Dog, aka Mac Attack, is using um, this account at the moment. And he's got, I believe that's two boats of greens and six boats of zookas. Um, so here we go. Let's jump in. So as we can see here, um, there's a laser on the left hand side, I'm not too worried about that. There's usually cannons here and cannons here. You might have to switch up your tactics um, if they're not there if, or if something more intimidating is. And there's usually these rocket launchers here and these shock launchers. So I'm trying to keep these, um, keep the, and these rocket launchers or shock launchers over here. I'm trying to keep these um, playbook episodes as standard as possible. Um, so this should be how it normally runs. So here we go. You can use, um, so we obviously need to clear mines along the right side, Zookas are fragile, we know this. Um, up to you whether you use artillery or barrage. Um, Edoc had to use, because that is a level 21 mine, you can afford to hit one. So we had to use three artillery to get rid of um, all of those. So just have to calculate whether or not it's worth it, um, GBE wise. So, He's going to go in with critters. Um, you can use a boat of riflemen to do the same thing, or riflemen and critters. Um, you, all you're trying to do is stop the cannons from picking off your zookas too early, um, and obviously taking away all your firepower. But you want to clear out these um, these six cannons first. So he's got one, two, three, four, five boats of zookas at the moment. Um, let's see how this is going to go for him. So he's only used one box of critters because he needs a bit of GBE to get up to those rear right shields. And we're just going to be clearing out that area. And then we want to leave, make sure that you leave this power cell or a power cell, something to um, anchor to around about this position. The shields are a little bit far away so you bazookas might spread, especially if you're taking eight boats. So if you need the damage, um, then they might spread outside that smoke and you will get hurt because these shield generators can have um, more health than they've got in this video maybe or maybe he's just got more troop damage boosts so definitely um, work that out the optimum amount of boat to take and let's have a look at e dog or mech attack i should say so it's going to half speed we're going to target onto the shield generator obviously you want to make sure that that smoke is going to cover us we might need to do two smokes um, you might have one initial smoke, and then when you flare up, you might have to do two. Um, obviously, have to figure that out. He was able to flare on nice and early, and then he's used one shock right in the middle of these three rocket launchers up here. So those are the only ones in range. The side ones are just out of range. Shock launchers aren't in range. We do are going to get pip pipped by these boom cannons, and that is fine. And he's worked out that he needs exactly three loads of shocks uh, three loads of shots on the th shield generator one two and three because he got picked off by the boom cannons um, he needed that fourth salvo to get that one down and he was fine with that because he got a second shock out on the rocket launchers already and then he's already flaring forwards he doesn't if you uh, manage to do it you can do it in one smoke you might need only need two shots with all eight boats per shield and then you can just re-smoke um, as soon as that first shock expires and then start moving. But you use two shocks, that's all good. And then because that shock's still, um, still active, you can actually flare up first and then smoke as soon as you're coming into this range. Ooh, okay. So from the smoked position, he's shot, um, flared all the way up to the top. So check that out, that's the flare position that we want to aim for, right um, between these two defenses, right up against the back wall. He's gone one pixel to the left, um, but that's fine either way. And here we go. The Zookas are going to obviously kink off to the right a little bit so they can get onto their 45 degree path. Didn't trigger off that mine. And then we're just going to be smoking on our way up. 
So we're all in a nice tight group now. We're going to have to reflare around about these front machine guns. Obviously, if you have already flared up to the right of the shield generator, um, if that's easier for you to just go for straight 45 line from there, it'll be a little bit further up um, that you'll have to reflare. But you will have to reflare. And then the last two smokes have to be slightly further apart, uh, like timed slightly apart. So you throw the first one, then you throw the second one. Second one's got a little bit further to go, um, so it's going to land a little bit later. And what he's done there is put the critters in the first smoke, so when the first smoke expires, everything's going to be shooting at those critters. He's already flared onto the shield generator, and he's going to shock the machine guns either side of him. Boom, boom. And he's also shocked the rock launchers. Um, he might have needed that with the fact that he's only got just under five boats of Zookas up there. Um, or he, if he had all of his boats of Zookas up there, he might not even have needed that. Because all of those rocket launchers are just going to fire straight into those critters whilst he just hits the shield. But there we go. E-Dog is a perfectionist and he's trying to do it with a minimal amount of boats. Because now he can do something else with them, which is perfect. So he's got five boats of Zookas and three boats of Grenadiers. And then he's going to drop them out of range of this cannon, apart from the cheeky ones that are moving forwards. And he's just going to be clearing mines. He's just thinking ahead for the next attackers. Um, if you can do this, perfect. Um, but the key is to get these two right shields in one attack. If you can do that, it's going to help out your team a lot. Um, it is really key. Because the, the reason we're doing this, so we can take out all the shields, we'll take out the right shields, uh, maybe take out the left shields in either one or two attacks, and then we can start core rushing. That's the plan. So here we go, he's just clearing mines and using the GBE from the cannons, plus he's clearing the cannons, which is also cool. really good. So nice work, E-Dog. This is all about, um, this was the playbook episode for um, AZ against the right shields. Should be able to take them both down in one hit. That's the plan. Um, so give us a comment down below if you take it, if you do anything differently on Strategize. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, and subscribe for more by Mooch.